<laughs> this is gonna be funny. <laughs> All right, guys, so you'll never guess where we are today. We're at the we field. At? We're at the field. So we're out shooting some new maneuvers for you. We've had a couple requests, and actually I've read some, uh, some pretty good discussions on this on a face couple Facebook groups recently, but we're talking about rolling maneuvers. Uh, people ask me all the time, you know, how do you learn to do slow rolls? How do you learn to do rolling harriers? Uh, all that sort of good stuff. And the key is really, you gotta learn the four point roll first. Four point roll is kind of the gateway to all other rolling maneuvers, whether it's rolling circles, rolling loops, slow rolls, um, that's interesting. Um, it kind of gets you there. So uh, another discussion we had earlier in the week was someone asking about getting better at uh, 3D and someone recommended, actually several people recommended they get into flying iMac and precision flying because you can fly with a purpose and you have to learn how to control the plane instead of it controlling you. So back to the four point roll. Uh, four point rolls are real easy way to start off. Uh, like with anything, you want to start high and you want to take your time with this, guys. There's uh, three basic steps to learning the four-point roll. Uh, your first step is uh, real easy, starting from level, from right to left or left to right. Um, you're going to be coming by and you're going to give left aileron. If you're coming from the right like I am, you have left aileron so the top's towards you and you're going to add right rudder to maintain. You're going to fly a little bit and you're going to level out. And just do that a few times down the flight line. Roll left, right rudder, get it in there. Um, at first, you'll be kind of scrambling to catch it, so you'll roll, the plane will start falling, you'll have to hammer the, the rudder to really get it in there. So like I said, be sure you got plenty of altitude, because if you give wrong rudder, you're going out the ground pretty quickly. Um, one thing I recommend is, when you're doing this, when you come by from the right, you do it a couple times, do a little turn around at the other end of the field and do it the opposite direction. Learn to roll both ways it'll save you a lot of time and a hassle in the future. It's, it's much better to be proficient at rolling both ways than be the most amazing roller going left but can't roll right to save your life. Uh, this is something I've fought with for years. The funny thing is I learned everything rolling right. At some point got really comfortable rolling left and I caught myself just doing nothing but left rolls for everything, whether it was rolling harriers or four point rolls and everything. So I've had to kind of force myself to get proficient at the right again, especially for iMac when sometimes you don't have any choice. So anyways, do it from the right, come back from the left. Now you're rolling right towards yourself, adding left rudder. Do this a dozen, two dozen, three dozen times. Get comfortable. Then we're ready to move to step two. Now step two is, you're gonna be coming by, I'm coming by from the right here. I'm gonna add my left rudder, or my left aileron, right rudder. I'm gonna pause for a second, I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna give my left aileron again to inverted. Give my required down elevator to fly inverted. Fly for a second, roll upright, start again. If you have time to do it a second time on one pass, do it. If not, come around from the left, roll right, left rudder, roll right, down elevator, roll back upright. Default always has to be roll back upright. If you get in trouble, guys, stop thinking about it, stop trying to fight your way out of it. Roll upright and fly the plane away like you know how. Don't risk your airplane, because things go wrong fast when you start getting tied up in your own brain. So. Now we've got that down. We, we're getting inverted, no problem. This is the trickiest part. The third point is the trickiest part of this maneuver. You're coming by, you give a left roll, right rudder, left roll, down elevator, left roll, left rudder, and then you rolled upright. That, that fourth point we don't really have to talk about because that's going to be your natural go-to is roll out. Take your time, go a point, think about it for a second. Okay, I've, I've done my right rudder, Okay, now I need my down elevator. Okay, so since I've already done my right rudder, now it's gonna be left rudder. Eventually, you'll, you'll get comfortable thinking when I'm rolling from inverted, I roll left, it's left rudder, but that comes down the road, take your time. Do your turnaround, come from the other side. Right roll, left rudder, right roll, down elevator to maintain. Right roll, right rudder, right roll upright, fly away. If at any time you're uncomfortable, go back. Repeat steps one and two, get comfortable. Of course, uh, learning your, or, or, or setting your plane up for this will help. Uh, knife edge mixing is a good thing to have. Uh, we design our, you know, we, our planes are designed to fly upright. When you roll, little things start happening. So go watch our uh, knife edge trimming video or knife edge uh, pro, uh, mixing video, which we'll put a link right here. And then get your plane set up and then that'll make your life even easier on the four point roll. So I hope this helped you guys. We will progress this into slow rolls, rolling circles, rolling harriers, all that fun stuff in the future. But for now, this is the starting point, four point rolls. Go out and master them. 
shoot us some links to them. Let us see them if you got, if you got time to, to record and put them up there. Hope this helped, guys. So as we talked about, step one is gonna be rolling to knife edge on one side or the other. We're gonna roll to the left, add right rudder, and we're gonna roll back. Go left, right rudder, roll back. Yep, go left, right rudder, roll back. So we're still practicing just rolling left, right rudder. If you're watching closely, you'll notice I'm adding the rudder as I'm rolling. When you first start doing this, you'll go right, and then rudder and you'll be trying to catch up with it. You'll notice it's not as smooth, but what you're working towards is smooth. Rolling right, left rudder, out. Right, left rudder, out, right. All right, pretty comfortable with step one. So let's go to step two. All right, step two is going all the way to the inverted. So we're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna go left, Right rudder, pause until we're comfortable. Left, inverted, down elevator to catch it. And then you roll back up right. Left, right rudder. Left, inverted, roll up right. Whatever you're comfortable with. Practicing from the other direction. We're gonna go right, left rudder, pause, think about it. Right, out of the rudder, down elevator. Back over. Right, left rudder, right, out of the rudder, down elevator. You're good. Now we're gonna to get to the tricky stuff, the third point. You're gonna go right, or left, sorry, right rudder, left roll, down elevator, left roll, left rudder, left roll, and we're back to upright. Take your time. Coming from the other side. We're gonna go right aileron, left rudder, right, down, right, 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 upright. You can really take your time with these points, guys. So here we go. Left aileron, right rudder. Think about it, next is down. Okay, we know we just gave right rudder, so the next is gonna be left. Boom. One more time from the right. Right, left rudder, right, down elevator, right. Right rudder, right out. We yeah, already have that video. Okay. All right. One more time from the left. Right aileron, left rudder. Right aileron, down elevator. Right aileron, right rudder. Right aileron, out. And of course, once you're comfortable, you can fly it at any pace. We can go one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And there you have it guys, the four point roll.